Twerktober, my new webinar is for sale now on inclusiveastrology.com. And if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading, I am doing readings until October 21st. Hurry up, I've got some slots left because I will be going up to the coast. If you want to do a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, I am going up the coast of California all the way back up to Portland again. So if you're in any of those cities or areas, let me know and we might be able to work something out. What's going on, Cancer? Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Weekly Forecast of the week of September 30th through October 6, 2013. I'm Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, Cancer, we have got a lot of energy squaring you, right? This is Libra energy. This is another cardinal sign, so it's affecting you very intensely. Plus, we have Jupiter, which is really starting to finish up its big transit of pushing forward in your sign. But this is a new moon week. This is a lot of squares happening. This could be putting a lot of pressure on cancers right now. And I think a lot of this has to do with your home life. Getting it together. Maybe worried about certain things in your home, trying to get it all together. But uh, again, we come down to relationships. I hate to say it, cancer. You know, all this energy is Pluto here. You're starting to really feel it. The sun squares Pluto this week. Home and relationships, is there a connection there? For those single cancers, for those that aren't attached to many people, you know, I think that this is really starting to look at, well, maybe I could fill a, a space in this home with somebody I want. But I think for those that are in partnerships, this can be very weird around the home. This could be very weird around, you know, everything dealing with your emotions though in relationships. So maybe even separate the home. How are you feeling? Are you feeling comfortable? Do you have the right people that makes you feel here? How is your job going? All this is coming down to how your emotions are, what relationships you're in, and if you are truly living the clean, sober life in this energy by doing the highest vibrational thing, by imagining the life that you want, and more importantly, starting to understand what your heart wants. The hardest thing is almost getting what your heart wants right now, Cancer, because Saturn is there, and this has to deal with love and relationships. And you know, it's so interesting for you, there's this big hot rod boat coming down the water. And this is a good analogy for you, because you need to take your life and take off, like this hot rod boat behind me. If you keep attaching to somebody else's boat or somebody else's life, you're not gonna get your career. You're never gonna be comfortable in your home. And this is really the pressure cooker for cancers that the universe wants you to jet boat off. You've gotta take that Jupiter energy and go. There's only another month left of Jupiter expanding your life here and then it gets cut off here for a while. This week could really put you through the pressure cooker but it also at the same time can bring you to where you need to go. So. If it's hard, there's somewhere you need to go this week, Cancer. If it's starting to get easier, you're starting to realize you're walking on that right path and you're starting to put the work in. And there's work, which is to get your true happiness. But remember that true happiness comes from what you do inside of yourself, not through how you connect to somebody else. So, there's a new moon in your fourth house, which is your natural energy. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you live in these emotions correctly and that you're basing all this off feeling secure in your life so you can make your goals happen. If there is securities, oh, if the securities at your home are not working out, then guess what? The career energy is not gonna go well. So if you're so worried about, you know, rent every month and all these things happening, oh, this stupid microphone, you know, you need to really pay attention to feeling secure in your life and make sure that the real deal's going on with your partnerships. And no more BS over there. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, or if you wanna, well, cause I'm doing it until October 21st, but if you also wanna get my Twerktober webinar, it's all at inclusiveastrology.com. Thank you so much, Cantor, and I will see you next week.